for restaurants database is going to be presenting themselves and show you their 40% milestone. Our project is facial recognition for restaurants, a system for improving customer service in the restaurant industry. These are the topics that we'll be discussing in this, um, in this presentation. Uh, my name is Tim Ayanuzo, I'm the team leader. I'll be working mostly on hardware and a little bit of the software aspects. Uh, my name is Owen McGee, I'm the software lead and basically I'm working on any software uh, within this project. My name is Ina Sokolov and I'm the electrical engineer and I'm going to be working on the hardware. So basically our motivation stems from everyday consumer problems. Um, everybody has dealt with going out to eat and having to face long lines within a restaurant, long waits within a restaurant or something along those lines. This leads very frustrated, uh, or everyone involved now will get frustrated and this will lead to poor service. Um, so we think we can help create a way to speed up the service uh, industry in restaurants using facial recognition. Uh, so basically, uh, as you'll see later in our uh, presentation, our HP shows um, we have different system requirements that range in importance, including uh, security, algorithm efficiency, cost, and uh, our specific sensor. Um, and obviously cost is a huge priority when it comes to building these such projects. Um, and obviously if we had more funds, we would be able to use uh, better sensors for better quality and better speed. Um, but using our $200 budget, we're utilizing it to the best of our ability. In addition to this, we can also move towards a cloud-based storage processing system, but this would take a lot more time to develop and would create more short-term costs. So for our project summary, um, we developed our own facial recognition method using Raspberry Pi board in which we will then run through a database in order for the customer's information and pass orders to be processed and saved. And then the information is then transferred to a point of sale system, which will then be used for restaurant transactions. This information can then be displayed for the restaurant and staff to see and take into account different orders. And the customer will then have the option to either reorder something or make an entirely new order. This will provide the customer with a more pleasant dining experience while avoiding wait times, and this will also help the restaurants maximize their time efficiency so they know if a certain individual orders the same thing every time, then they might have certain things ready. And then this will also help on busy nights for restaurants to keep track of information and to be able to keep track of the restaurant statistics as well. So for our engineering requirements, we have performance where our system will record and give accurate information and the information will be re relayed to the restaurant and employees in milliseconds and the database will be automatically updated and refreshed with every use. And then we have security, which is where the application will be um, secure so that nobody else has access to it and the restaurant, except for the restaurant and, and the individual, and the interface will be easy to read and use. Then we have accuracy, where the measurements must be precise and accurate with every time the face is recognized. And then we have maintenance, where the system should be easy to set up and require a minimal amount of maintenance, and then the database must contain the customer's past order history, including food, drink, time of purchase, and their time spent in the restaurant, and how much their bill comes to. So for our marketing requirements, we have the following six points. Um, the customer or the system must have a fast customer throughput, must be easy to install, low cost, easy to use, ensure security, and should be efficient. And these kind of go hand in hand with um, the engineering requirements. Um, for example, the first engineering requirement, as you see at the top, says the system should have a high performance rate and should be successful at least 90% of the time and this applies for all of the marketing requirements and this is in order to have a fast throughput and used efficiently the system must work accordingly and then the next one is a little bit more specific where the system should have an efficiency less than 40% which only applies to um, 4 and 6 which is easy to use and should be efficient and this is achievable with appropriate algorithms and hardware. That, next we have the engineering trade-off matrix, which shows how the marketing requirements and the engineering requirements are correlated. And for example, you see how the accuracy, the increase of accuracy and the increase of security have a positive um, correlation, and so forth.
Um, like I said before, with our anal analytical hierarchy process, um, we found uh, cost to be one of our most vital aspects of this project, and, and that goes hand in hand as well with um, our algorithm efficiency in combination with security and our sensor. And um, yeah, these are just like using the equation view. For a system description, we have the customer with the facial recognition, which moves on to the database, which processes the user's information, which then is transferred to the restaurant owner or the POS system, which displays the user's information. Um, basically, for the related theory to this, the facial recognition algorithm we'll be using will be hard, hard cascade detection, which basically just breaks the images up into squares based off the edge detection and is able to find distinct features on a, um, on a person. Next we have the behavior module. So we have the facial recognition sensor which is paired with the Raspberry Pi board which reads the data points on the user's face and then moves on to the database which processes information and stores the user's information which is then transferred to the web application which retrieves and sends information from the database and then that's displayed on the monitor POS system. Then we have the functional decomposition. Um, our input for the facial recognition sensor is the facial data, which then the output reads data points on the user's face and sends the information to the database. Then this is the layered um, functional decomposition, where the input is the facial data, and then the sensor is powered by the voltage um, signal, which then approves or denies the biometric and, and also communicates with the database, which then Send and displays the individual's account and information onto the POS system, and that the output is updating the credentials and sending it, sending the information to the staff and owner. And then this is kind of the breakdown of it, where again the input is the user's face for the power source, and the output is the voltage um, signal. And then for the database, the input is the confirmation to enter the system, and the output is um, the logs and which it logs and retrieves information and displays on the POS system. And then last week, lastly for the breakdown, we have the information from the database going into the monitor POS system, which is then displayed to the customer, owner, and staff for the, of the restaurant. Um, basically here I have the uh, hardware demonstration for the uh, facial recognition. Um, for this we'll be using the Raspberry Pi board and the uh, Raspberry Pi V2 camera. Um, basically, what this demonstration will show is the initial, um, the initial, um, the, the camera initially taking my, um, taking my face, like, and and um, making like data points from it, and from there, it's going to train that data and be able to recognize my face and display it. And at the end, it will output it to a text file. Um, I believe that the. Uh, the, I don't think we have the media to play this, but um, I can uh, I can I can send an email with that um, that shows this demonstration. And then this is basically uh, the specific software uh, design, and this is just a very simple database that we will be expanding uh, coming this winter and next semester. We had some leftover time to really work on a database, um, so we kind of just played around with it and this is what we got. You can play it. So basically the code just compiled and you have options to enter, read, and save data. And then um, you can enter the amount of customers, the name of the customers, what date they ordered it on. Um, and then this is followed by whatever they ordered. So we see Tim ordered a hamburger on December 3rd. And then you save that data and then you're able to read it back. And come in, in the coming months, we're going to be taking this and expanding upon it to be able to store it in an uh, external uh, spreadsheet or something that the facial recognition will be able to work in tandem with.
Um, basically, for our testing results and analysis, the database we were able to properly compile and store the info. Uh, moving forward, we're looking for a separate application that will be able to work better with the board and sensor. And for our imaging sensor, we were able to get it to accurately. Um, we were able to get actually. We were able to accurately get it to capture um, um, the face and be able to uh, detect it. And for the board, um, we were able to get it to work with the imaging sensor and output the user's name to a text file. In the future, we need to be able to work with other types of files in order to get it to work with the POS system. And for our facial recognition algorithm, we were able to accurately capture data and store it, but we need to uh, work on having, take, having it take up less memory. And then this is our project schedule on Go No Go Milestone. So for the fall semester for software, uh, we wanted to start working on the facial recognition. Um, we wanted to get it to output with correct identification and start development on the database, which we were able to do. And for hardware, we wanted to purchase our necessary components, assemble uh, the camera with our board, and have uh, the working system be able to work with some uh, software. Uh, for the winter break, we're going to move forward on the creation of a full database and the communication with the board. And in the spring semester, we're going to continue that communication process, uh, improve our database security, uh, look into our customer data analytics if we have the time to do so, um, and have our system communicate with our point of sale system and finalize the project by having plenty of time to test and make sure everything works together. And then this is our cost analysis. Our Raspberry Pi board was about $40 with the camera, an extra $25. And then we have a micro SD to SD uh, memory card. With the SD card, was about $20. So we're sitting at $85 right now, which gives us enough time next semester for any extra cost we may encounter. Uh, conclusion, future work. Overall, our, our goals were uh, achieved this semester. But the major challenge next semester will be able to get this system to work with a restaurant's POS system. Um, the ethics issues considered. The major one for this project is um, is to be able to have the user um, to decide that they want to do this to make their to make their experience better. The restaurant won't be taking this information from them without their permission. They also won't be providing this information to anyone else. Um, these are our references. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.